bring the white rook across, but now after a check, the white king steps back and this check finally does win the hopeless, the helpless white rook. And hopeless it, and hopeless. Yeah. yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay, we see the white rook go up, but now the other pawns, the central pawns, drop for white. Yeah, not only does the pawn drop, but you still cannot push your A-pawn. Mm. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. It's... yeah, it's gone. It's, it's simply... a matter of technique, as they say. Wow. Yeah, and, and not very not challenging technique, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he Here comes the move from Magnus, and what will Jan do? Okay. He didn't. And he finishes it. Wow. Magnus Carlsen, he wins game 11. He defends his title, the Norwegian winning his fifth World Championship match. Let's hear what the players are saying. They're still having a What a moment. In the history. But in general, if we just take on d4, it should be closer to equal to I guess. Maybe now, when the man goes to f5. What do you mean? Yeah, oh, I mean, okay, rook d4, just, I mean, maybe rook d4 immediately or something. Yeah, yeah takes, takes, knight of 5. Um, maybe it should have taken, maybe it should start with 6. Because takes, knight of 5 could be slightly, I don't know, rook d5, then I mean. So I go c6, rook d5. No, but then rook d5 at some point, so at least yeah, I'm uh, into the structure. Yeah, but in general, yeah, there is a bunch. his chances, he has shown endurance and has been unbeatable for Jan Pomniachi. After 11 games in Dubai, you guys, it's over. Magnus Carlsen, he keeps his crown. Let's go down to Dubai.